Hello everyone, my name is Hilda and welcome back to my channel. So oh, I've just come back from Antwerp, where a few shops are open on Sunday. It is Sunday the 10th of April, uh, as I film this. Uh, potentially not as this go up, but as I film it. And um, yeah, uh, I was able to go to Luddites to pick up a book about linoleum printing I had ordered, but I popped into another shop as well, and I'm not gonna say which shop in public because I don't want to get them in trouble, and look what they had. The limited edition 2022 Travelers Company, the Travelers Records. So yeah, uh, I grabbed it um, because it will save me the hassle of uh, midnight releases and trying to get it on the 14th, which is the actual official release date. And yeah, I'm just gonna go and open it for you now and we'll set it up together. By the way, this is my studio buddy, Mr. Pettibone, and a very, very stylish skeleton. But yeah, let's get into this traveler's notebook. First and foremost, I'd like to apologize for the light. Um, it's practically dark outside at this point, because um, we arrived in Antwerp at five. So uh, it's now nearly 8 p.m. And um, yeah, I have a good light for my studio, but it's better when the daylight is on. So yeah, this is the uh, Traveler's uh, Records. And um, as you can see, I have not opened it yet. Um, it is clearly much cheaper in Japan than it is here because I paid 119 and 95 euros for it and it is 7,000 yen in Japan, which is, I would guesstimate, um, about 70 euros. So there's that. Um, so lucky for the people who live in Japan. Um, yeah, it has a box in a slipcase. Am I bad at opening things? Hell to the yes. See if I can open it like this. I'm trying to keep the packaging nice at least. I don't plan on reselling this at all, but still. It's a nice limited edition item, so you get this case, which looks like this. Keep on traveling in your mind with Traveler's Notebook. And then it has the four different ones. Train, um, Traveler's Hotel, Traver Traveler's Airlines. <laughs> Words are hard. Traveler's Records. With Traveler's Notebook and your imagination, you can travel anywhere any at any time. So yeah, keep on traveling in your mind with Traveler's Notebook once again. And then... It just looks like this. That's all the stuff. First there is, I think this might be a leaflet of some sort, or this might be the stickers. No, it's the stickers and they are oiled. So since they were on top, let's check them out first. We have, have a nice trip with good music. I appreciate this. I like to have nice trips with good music. Add some music to your trip. Yeah, they're very, very foiled, as you can see. Traveler's Records. I like how vintage style they are. I especially love this. I mean, gramophone, of course. I wish I had a gramophone. That would be the bee's knees. So yeah, those are the stickers. I'm going to put them back in their little envelope to keep them safe. I don't know if I'll use them or just like keep them. I, I assume that eventually I'll scrapbook with them or something. Then this next one, I'm assuming this might actually be the charm. I mean, that would be my guess. And from what I'm feeling here, I'm guessing I'm right. Yep. So, um, Basically, when this goes on, yeah, you can see it, 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 it will spin. How cool is that? It's a record and records spin. So I'm going to put that in its envelope as well and set it aside. This is a thing that probably held the thing. <laughs> I'm guessing the stamps. 
Okay, gonna rip up the paper. Okay, so these are the stamps. I will stamp them in a second. I actually have an ink pad nearby. I think I have scrap paper. Aha! Yes, I do. I do indeed. It's literally an old receipt, but hey. My ink pad is a bit on the drier side because I've had it for ages. So, brand new stuff. It's not very inked yet. And here we go, a record. Like I said, um, my stamp pad is on the dry side and um, this is as best, this is as good as it's gonna get. But for the purposes just showing this, because I forgot to buy an ink pad in the shop. So I'm gonna have to go to Banir tomorrow, I think, or day after, we'll see. Oh yeah, this one came out nice. So yeah, I like these a lot. Um, I didn't buy the set for the stamps, but I do like stamps. And um, this one says, I mean, it's supposed to go that way. It says Traveler's Company. And then the other one says Traveler's Records. So yeah. Cool beans, stamps. Um, back to the box. <laughs> so, this is, I think, the leaflet, the info sheet, which I shall read afterwards. And then it has all kinds of information of inserts. Here's the pouch. Have a nice trip with good music. So here it is. It's not foiled. I believe the other three are all foiled, but this is like stamped in the letter, which is fine by me. Yeah, he's focusing now. It says Traveler's Records, and on the back it just says Traveler's Notebook. My other one says the same thing. And my other one is also a camel. So yeah, if I were removed, uh, I would have to remove this strap to attach the charm. It's an end paper. And then inside is a special edition um, Traveler's Songs blank paper notebook and it looks like this it has the cassette which also says travelers records and then the end page is pretty much the same thing yeah now i'm holding it the right way up so yeah and the back of it also has a special design so uh yeah I like this a lot it's almost too nice to use i will use it i will but um it's kind of a pain in my heart because it's such a nice notebook. I will use it eventually. Um, but yeah, first let's try and attach this charm. Um, I have never attached a charm on one of these things because um, my regular Traveler's Company notebook does not have a charm. It has a OXO clip, you know, the little the clips that have the little smiley faces. I put one of those on there. Okay, so this is going to go through without issue. Yes, hooray, hooray, hooray. Am I fumbling? <laughs> yes, I always am. So I need to put this through first. Let's see how well this goes. I think I didn't tie it. But, uh, in, uh, it's too loose, okay. Let's try this again. See how, tighter, how much tighter it should be. I will do that in a second, but yeah, um, let's see. Yeah, you can't just go like this because it's, the elastic is too floppy, but once it's on there, you can turn it. And uh, yeah, that's a very fun gimmick. I need to, do I need to tighten my elastic? Because it was on, yeah, it seems all right. Maybe a little bit. I will tighten it after this video, don't worry about it. Um, yeah, 
Um, was this worth 120 euros? Close to it. Um, you know, you can get a regular traveler's notebook with a blank insert. Um, so basically the same thing for, uh, what is it, 45 if it's a passport size, um, around 45 euros, potentially a bit more or less depending on the shop. Um, I paid, I think, 44.95 for mine. Um, can't remember now. It's in my <laughs> my other traveler's company notebook um, video for sure. So um, of course you do get the stamps. Uh, you get a prettier pouch than just the blank linen one. Um, you get a spare elastic, but I'm pretty sure I got a spare elastic with mine as well. Um, what else do you get? A fancy leaflet. You do get the charm as well, but to be fair, um, you can put on whatever charm you like. And I don't know what, what price charms go for these days, but I can't imagine loads. Um, so yeah, it kind of depends on how much you want the special edition cover and how much you're really set on. Yeah, basically it just depends on how much you want the special edition, really. I mean, I, I love music. I love records. I have a record player downstairs. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm here for it. I also love like the B-sides and rarities and I still have one. So I will uh, absolutely insert that here. Actually, let me get my box and I'll begin. Set it up slightly because I got some other things as well. Big bag. Um, was I organized? No, I came home and wanted to film this. I got this because I have a fake well, flying tiger <laughs> um, thing and I want to see if I can set it up with Traveler's Company stuff and I will make a video if it works. So first up I got a clip for this one because I have a pen clip on my other one. And this was 12.90. Again all prices are in euro because I live in Belgium. I also got, um, I didn't look at these, I got a, what is this? <laughs> Yeah, I got a weekly calendar and it's like the one where you put the dates on yourself. Uh, I thought this would be super practical because I want to set this one up as my planner, so to speak. I have kind of turned a bullet journal into my own planner, but... Um, and then here's a month, you know, monthly overview thing which I might end up moving to my regular one that lives in my bag. But uh, yeah, these have this, um, I guess like kind of like a watch or a year thing, or you can like maybe write the week and then the back looks like this. And then the front has like a big square like they all do. And the same goes for this one. I do feel that the paper in the monthly is smoother, but that aside, oh no, this will get up. I, I think the charm will get scratched up so quickly. Now, my friend Lauren taught me a super neat trick to um, get your notebooks in and to lie nice and flat. So. I have a, this a giant box. I will zoom you out. <laughs> it's just a, a box that is vintage style. And um, yeah, it has all my traveler notebook stuff in here. I'm trying to make my own inserts. So I'll move those aside because they're not finished yet because I have still, still got to find the long reach stapler. I've got some elastic. I've got the, this is a regular pouch you get. And then I have some spare inserts. This is the B-sides and rarities, which will go super well with the records. And this is just um, lined paper and a watercolor one. And then just a slab of elastic, so to speak. 
and spare elastics, which is why I was diving into this. These are just like the rubber wa the rubber bands. Wands, bands. <laughs> Words are hard. Okay, so first up, I'm taking the monthly. This does not have staples, so um, I'm a little bit confused as to where the middle is. Then I'm taking the weekly. Do you have staples? Also not. I'm, I'm, no, this is not the middle. It's harder to find the middle when they're not stapled. I think this might be it. So put both of them together. Thank you, by the way, Lauren, for teaching me this very neat trick. So now they're piggybacking. Open them up like this. If you hear my cat screaming, I do apologize. Shove them under. So this is in the middle. This one is stapled, so that's easy. Just go like this. And there we are, set up. Zoom you back in. So yeah, um, not entirely sure whether I need to tighten it some more. Probably should because the charm is uh, very loose on here. But yeah, as you can see, I have my monthly planner, I have my notebook, and then I have my weekly. I will probably change order around it, but I just kind of wanted to set it up a little bit faster, just so you have an idea of what it would look like with a few more inserts. And um, yeah, yeah, this is, uh, this is it for my very quick preliminary setup of my Traveler's Records uh, notebook. I know this is like very, very hasty, but I just got it a few hours ago. And I, like I said in the intro, I literally came home and started filming this because I kind of want to get this out as soon as possible for people that have to wait till the 14th to get one. And they are still on the fence of whether or not this is actually worth it for them. Obviously, I can't speak of the other editions, but I believe that the contents of the box are more or less the same. It's just like themed differently. And if I'm not mistaken, Traveler's Train is the other passport sized one. So. I imagine that is quite similar outside that it's train themed and you will obviously get a different charm and different stamps and different stickers and whatnot. Um, but yeah, I, I just wanted to do this quickly so you had an idea and hopefully this is helpful for people who are still doubting whether or not to get this. Um, for me personally, like, I'm not going to chase up every limited edition at all. I mean, this might very well be the only one I will ever buy. Um, so there is that. Um, so yeah, I will do a video in the future showing like the, the final setup of both of my Traveler notebooks when I found all the inserts I want and properly have set them up and whatnot. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. Uh, let me know in the comments down below. Are you going to get one? Uh, which one are you getting? Are you getting hotel, train, airlines or records? Records is cool. Um, they're all cool though, uh, in their own way. Or is this just really not your jam? Or just feel free to leave a comment. If you do leave a comment, please be kind. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful. Hit that notification bell if you want to be notified for my next upload. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already and want to stick around for more shenanigans in motion. And that was it for today. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye! Well, considering this is a records-themed journal, I think it is a good idea to start a new end of video kind of trend with a Belgian song of the day. Uh, or the video better, maybe. Um, yeah, uh, we have a lot of really cool bands. So um, I'm going to share one of my favorite songs. It's by a obviously Belgian band called Deus, and the song is Sats and Soda. I will link it in the description down below and I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. Bye-bye!